what I have in this box will both interest and astound you. I've already opened it because I needed to check if it was actually the right thing. Here we go, guys. I'm gonna hide the other things because I'm for another time, another video. But, fake blood. Oh, oh, oh. It's the Gay Blood Collection, Tools for a Bloody Change. To amplify your acts of protest, then share your work online. <laughs> Hashtag unban gay blood. Because, you know, gay people can't give blood and that's all kinds of messed up. So, Stuart Semple over at Culture Hustle has made this fountain pen, which is has ink that is made with blood. This is very interesting and very cool. <laughs> that is a really fun way to protest something very important. So look at this, it's so cool. Uh, the fountain pen itself, not sure how it works. Um, I'm sure I unscrew this. And then I put in the blood. It's kind of like an actual injection pen, which is really funny. Funny, interesting, cool. Yeah, I like drawing with fountain pens, so I thought this was really interesting. And also, guess what, guys? The Kickstarter has reached the first stretch goal, so we're gonna get flake stickers of all the lovely antique stuff. So I thought drawing with blood was a good way to celebrate that. I didn't know what the word was, and I was like, how do I, what is this word, celebration? What does it mean? I don't know how to open this, so let's figure it out. And I'm smart, I can figure this out, right? Uh, I like how the fountain pen like smushes. Maybe it's this way? Maybe I unscrew it at the top here? Yes, that's what I do. Okay, that's fine. And now to get the blood inside, which I'm sure will be very easy and not difficult for me at all to do. And we're gonna draw in my little tiny traveling sketchbook because I think it will be fun. I'm very aware that I'm a very clumsy and messy person, so I'm about to get a crime scene all over my desk. Uh, now what? <laughs> Do I just pour it in? That doesn't seem safe. <laughs> Help me, Stuart. <laughs> okay, I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm shaking, my hand shook then. I don't know if you saw that, but my hand was shaking like mad. I'll do it over my sketchbook. My table's already stained enough. Let's see. Okay, it's not, oh, that looks so much like blood. That's so weird. I don't wanna put too much in. Whoa, that looks so beautiful. Okay, oh, it's leaking a lot. It's leaking a lot. Is that supposed to do that? Getting blood everywhere, guys. I love this little vial of blood. It's so interesting. I put it on my desk and it's gonna look like I just like blood a lot. Yeah, just, you know, my vial of blood hanging out here. Oh my God, that looks so much, that looks like blood. That is so weird. Sorry if you're squeamish. Um, it's not really blood, but you know, it does look it. Um, so this is my little traveling sketchbook. You might have seen it before, but wherever I go anywhere, sometimes I, you know how it is. I sometimes draw when I'm somewhere else other than my house. This is my little throwaway sketchbook and I'm just gonna sketch some stuff for you guys and tell you how good this pen is. So if you saw my vlog uh, last time, seeing that I was drawing a hand, free hand, lol, with my other fountain pen, and I found that I was struggling a bit to draw a hand. This doesn't go on the end. That's not, that's disappointing. This time I wanted to do some hand studies so that I can better at drawing hands. Just free, you know, without pencil, because I think it is a handy... <laughs> I can't stop saying hands. It is a handy thing to have, to draw hand hands. I'm sorry. It's been a long week. It's been a long, exciting week of Kickstarter action and trying to post constantly on Instagram whilst also trying to have a full to job. You know, you know, the same old stuff that I always say, but it's been a really, really great journey and I'm so excited, I'm so happy, I'm so proud and very, very thankful to anyone who supported the Kickstarter in any form. Um, even if it was like sharing with someone who you think would like it, that's amazing too. Also, this hand is so wide, but it's okay because this is just a study. I was worried that this fountain pen was gonna leak a lot, but actually it's doing pretty well. It feels really nice um, to draw with. I've done a really weird finger there, but that's fine. It feels great to draw with it feels really smooth can you get me some coke but can you get me like a roll you know like a french stick roll yeah that's what i want a french stick roll and, and some juice so it feels very nice to draw with um actually better than i was expecting because when i first saw it i was like that looks really cool but will it be like is it just like a novelty or is it actually going to be a nice fountain pen and it pretty much is it's very nice i was a little worried when it was um 
leaking when I first filled it up. I was scared that I was gonna turn it over and it was just gonna leak all over the page, but it hasn't. So whoop whoop. So yeah, just practicing drawing some hands because it's always necessary. I always get rusty with hands and then I go back like, what is that? That's no good. This one's kind of okay. This one's no good. <laughs> You know, so I think I just need to practice hands uh, a lot more than I think that I just get a little bit complacent with hands because I get to a good stage of drawing them and then I leave it for like ages without practicing and I think feel like I always get rusty. So it's good to practice. But yeah, if you saw my post about uh, drawing Olivia Instagram or if you watched that vlog and I drew her hand coming through the bushes. It was very interesting. Uh, I really liked that concept and I liked the drawing, but I think it could have been better like made. I guess I only had a short time because it was done on my lunch break very quickly um, and I did enjoy the process, but I need to just keep studying. You never, you, n <laughs> you should never stop studying basically is my idea here. I feel like my brain is a bit fried from just overwork, so I'm trying to take it easy this week. It's been a little bit difficult, and here I am doing another YouTube video. Uh, yeah, this was actually sent to me by Culture Hustle, which is really kind of them. They kind of sent me some vouchers. Cool, I was like, I saw this pen and I thought it was so nice. Uh, it looked really good and I love the cause and the thought behind it, so definitely wanted to try it out. And also, who doesn't want to try drawing with blood? Except for Casey Golden. <laughs> If anyone remembers her drawing with blood video where she did actually draw with real blood uh, which was really cool but I can't really do that because I don't draw my blood <laughs> I really love drawing with fountain pens I think they just there's a totally different feel to them I think I really need to just think about the thumb a bit more the thumb is the thing that keeps messing me up these days I definitely need to do more life drawing there's life drawing here in Brighton so I should really go a bit more we did used to go on Wednesdays, um, but then my husband, he has like D&D &D that night and well, I guess I could go alone, but uh, no, <laughs> I don't want to go alone. That hand is really weird, but I don't care. Maybe if I add a bit more. No, I think I made that worse then. I really like using alcohol markers with these, uh, with my fountain pen. Wonder if these, this blood ink will be able to take any of this uh, alcohol marker without smudging. I'm not sure it will because it's kind of a rare quality for ink to not bleed with alcohol, but that's doing pretty well. It's not smudging. That's really good. Nice. Okay, so we've got some alcohol ink uh, steady, I don't know what what phrase to use. I've got some alcohol ink uh, steady marker. Pesto is meowing so much because she wants to come in the room. I guess I'll let her in. I guess. She'll just come and meow at the window though. If you're coming in, you have to be quiet. She's under house arrest because uh, she disappeared for like a night and uh, she, we found out that she had about five of her homes. Yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, so she's not allowed out anymore. The other cats are and they're just wandering around free. But Peppy is under house arrest and she is not pleased about it. So you might hear some meowing from her. So, come here. She's grumpy. She's so grumpy now. I managed to touch the nib with my hands. That's why my hands are a bit red. But yeah, it looks... Excuse you. It looks very cool. Let's see if we can draw some more hands because I need to. My art teacher, or my life drawing teacher I should say, uh, used to tell us to look at negative space when you're struggling with life drawing. So that's what I'm trying to do here. And I don't know if it's working because it's just is what it is. But this is fine. It's just a sketch. You know, the reason that we're studying hands is because we feel like we're not very good at them. So of course, if we draw them now, study them, they're not gonna be perfect because it's a study, hello. So it shouldn't be so hard on ourselves. Okay guys, everyone take that down. That's a note for you to take home with you. <laughs> if you're practicing drawing something, it's obviously not gonna be perfect, especially this one. <laughs> Pesto, please, Pesto, please stay with me. I, I want to do like the negative space to just highlight where because <laughs> if I make a mistake uh, with the, the ink, the fountain pen, I can just 
maybe sort of cover it up slightly with some alcohol marker and it could look a bit better um there's a little tip for you guys too also i forgot that i needed to wait for this ink to dry to put down alcohol markers and actually it didn't smudge at all so that's super good to know because usually with my other fountain pen i have to wait a little while the when i had blue ink in here it was it dried quite quickly but now i've got like this black ink um it takes a while to dry i think because it's super juicy so i have to wait ages for it to like uh dry basically so i if i wanted to use alcohol markers underneath over the top it needs to dry before it can smudge otherwise it will just completely smudge that it's, that sentence didn't make sense did it but oh well yeah i'm just looking on pinterest if you look up hand poses on pinterest you can just get like lots of hand poses funnily enough and it's really handy <laughs> i can't stop saying hand puns i just can't stop uh, it's useful! There we go, there's a word that doesn't involve hand. Um, to practice with pesto, come on. Some people are trying to make a YouTube video here. Pesto, come on, my guy. Uh, this hand is a bit, like, thicker. Thick hand. But it's interesting. I'm, I'm liking the kind of sketchy quality that I'm getting from this pen as well. If you want your own blood pen, you can grab it down below. Sure shit. Sure shit. <laughs> so you guys can get 10% off uh, anything on Stuart Semple's site if you click the link down below and follow through the, the site. Uh, that's a weird like howling outside that put me off my sentence. But you can get 10% off if you join the link uh, down below and search for anything you like. There's loads of different cool stuff on the Culture Hustle site which I just... I've, I've looked at a lot of stuff before like um, and they're always really fun wacky like art supplies so it's always really fun to look at them I've done this hand so small and I think it's because you, if you if you distracted me my art career is gonna bomb now are you happy with yourself you did this to me this is like you blaming me you blaming me let me out then let me out and be let me be with that other family <laughs> no best you belong to me please what do they give you treats? They give you better treats than me. She's gonna meow any second now. Say you shouldn't let anyone else use your fountain pen because the way you kind of break in the nib as you're drawing with it, and if someone else uses your pen, your fountain pen, then it it like breaks it in a certain way that is different to how you would have like pressed down on it and stuff. I find that really interesting. Maybe that's a bit of like an urban legend because I don't know how much truth there is to that. But I remember when I was a kid in school and fountain pens were all the rage and it was always like you can't lend me a fountain pen i can't lend you mine because you're gonna change the style of my writing <laughs> even though my writing is always been absolutely awful and ugly so it doesn't really matter don't know why i was so bothered but yeah it's quite funny now to think back on that i don't know if that's true if there are any avid fountain pen lovers out there let me know because it would be interesting to see if that's true i can see it being sort of true like the way that you bend the nib if, how hard you press down and stuff but not sure not sure this is looking at me like you are an idiot <laughs> i feel like pesto is my number one critic actually you know what pesto i'm trying my best so there we go a page of hands drawn with some blood uh let me know what you guys think it's really good for me to just practice and I probably will do a lot more studies after this because I would say that probably about 2% of these hands kind of look what I wanted them to look like <laughs> but it was really fun um, drawing with this pen I do really like it so there we go um, it's for a good cause as well let's let's spread some change let's move our society in the right direction and let's let gay people give blood come on man let's do it uh, thank you so much to Coach Hustle for sending me this, and I will see. E I'm trying to sign off here. Do you mind? And I will see you guys hopefully in the next video. Please don't forget to check out uh, Coach. Excuse me. Please don't forget to check out Coach Hustle down below, and also maybe my Kickstarter if you're interested. All right, thank you. Bye. What do you think, Pesto? Is it a good pen? Oh, it is. 
fabulous. That's getting Pesto's seal of approval. Here you go, Peps. You can hold it. <laughs>